why Kate Middleton wasn't allowed to sit next to Prince Harry at Anzac Day service. Kate Middleton and Prince Harry looked delighted to be spending some time together as they attended an Anzac Day service without their other halves. The Duchess of Cambridge and Prince Harry's strong friendship was full display as the royals arrived at an Anzac Day service together. The couple laughed and smiled at each other as they walked into Westminster Abbey, seeming completely happy and relaxed in each other's company. Their other halves missed the service as Meghan Markle is due to give birth to her first royal baby any day now and Prince William is in New Zealand following the horrifying terror attack last month. But when they entered the Abbey, fans were quick to notice that they weren't sitting next to each other. This is because traditional members of the royal family always sit in order of seniority at events like this. Basically, the more important you are, the better seat you get. Normally William would sit closest to the altar with Kate by his side but as he wasn't there she was bumped down the line as she's not royal by blood, just marriage. This meant that Harry had the top seat, followed by the Queen's cousin the Duke of Gloucester, Prince Richard, and then Kate. Kate wore a blue Catherine Walker coat and Rosie Olivia fascinator combination along with a beaming smile as she walked alongside her brother-in-law. Harry came dressed in a dark navy suit decorated with his military honors and a red poppy. The prince's name was not printed in the order of service in case heavily pregnant wife Meghan went into labor this afternoon. Kate and Harry were greeted by the Dean of Westminster Dr. John Hall who shook hands with them as they entered the Abbey's west door. Harry shared a joke with members of the chapter of Westminster, the ecclesiastical governing body of Westminster Abbey, as he was introduced to them by the Dean. According to body language expert Judy James there is no sign of a royal rift between the Duke and Duchess. She highlighted six key points which suggest authentic closeness, including the way in which they dip their heads together, and the mirrored smiles and walking pace they adopt.